Okay, good morning or afternoon, everybody, depending on where you are in the world. <laughs>、um, first of all, a few things I want to talk about. I will say that at this very moment in time, I'm a little bit fuzzy in my head because, as I mentioned in my last video, sorry, not my last video, the last but one video,、um, I acquired a back injury at work and I kind of went to the hospital yesterday. Um, to find out exactly what it was, because I was struggling to get out of bed, do up my shoelaces, put my socks on, and many other things. And the doctor in the hospital turned around and he said, Oh, yeah, it's,、uh, it's obviously inflamed, it's an old injury that's come up. So I'm going to give you three lots of painkillers. So one of them was something called Diprofumol or some shit, which is a really strong painkiller, obviously paracetamol. And then there's one that's shaped like a bullet, which is actually、um, it's not taken orally. It's taken anally. <laughs> it's,、uh, it's a suppository, and I have to shove it up my bum. Thank you very much.、Um, <laughs> I was,、uh, one of the things I was thinking of doing, I've got nothing against homosexuality, you know? Whatever people want to put up their asses is absolutely fine. I have no issue with it whatsoever. But I was,、um, was going to put a tattoo on my buttocks when I was very young. I'm、um, not very young, when I was 18. And it was going to be one of those road signs, you know, a no entry sign? Yeah, I was going to put one of those up there just in case I got raped one day. And people could say, oh, no, we better not rape this one. He's,、uh, he's got the sign. <laughs> let's, uh, let's move on to the next victim. But yeah, I've,、um, I've had to take these really strong painkillers. So at the moment, my head is absolutely just clouded. It's really weird. I keep going dizzy and sort of staring into space. So at this very moment in time, I'm talking into a microphone. I'm assuming it's a microphone, but when I look at it, it's in fact turned into a little puppy. <laughs> yes, hallucinations and everything else. So, yeah,、um, going away from that, I wanted to thank everybody for their feedback、um, about the Legion of a Puck channel, my secondary channel. Now, I mentioned that I was having difficulty signing in for some reason. So, this kind of left it, you know, roughly about a week since the last upload there. And, you know, the channel is doing okay. It's not doing amazingly, but it's doing okay. It seems, to be,、uh, it seems to be networking people out, and people seem quite keen enough to give each other feedback and subscribe to each other. That's what community channels are all about. You know, it's about people,、uh, people helping each other out. There's not enough help in this community. YouTube isn't what it once was, once upon a time, where you could just upload a video that people would want to see, like a nuke, and that'd be it. That'd be your channel sorted for life. So, yeah,、um, thanks very much for that. I've now got into the,、uh, I've now got into the channel. And I'm able to upload videos. So I've uploaded a video today. I'm going to try and upload two a day. That's the intention. I, can, I hope I can stick by that because I've had so many submissions. I've had more than I ever thought. I've literally must have about 75 to 80 submissions over there. And I've got probably more than that. So obviously, if I do one a day, then people aren't going to get a look in. So I'm going to try and get two uploads a day. Um, up on that channel, so hopefully, you can still keep supporting that. That would be cool. So, thanks very much for your feedback on that. Many, many thanks. Now, also, as well, I'm going to be live streaming today. Now, obviously, this is going out on Monday, so、uh, there's going to be a bit of live streaming action going on. So, if you manage to get over to Twitch, I'll put the link down below. Come over and have a look. If you miss the boat and you're catching this、uh, commentary a little bit too late, then I do apologize. You've probably missed out there. But I'll try and figure out some way how you can,、uh, how you can watch the previous streams and then you can keep up to date with what's going on. So there you go. Streaming, channel, and、uh, suppositories at bottoms. There we go. I've covered three things. Now, the fourth thing I really wanted to cover, which is obviously what this commentary is all about, going by yesterday's video, I uploaded a noob of the week with two boosters on there. And I kind of talked about. You know, why people are still boosting in Modern Warfare 2, what do they get out of it, what the reasons are they actually take this path to,、uh, to acquire fall camo or to get emblems. Does anybody really care about emblems anymore? I mean, once upon a time, you know, having a certain emblem meant a certain status. For me, my favorite emblem and title. Was the one where you go on a 10 kill streak without any help from any air support or any kill streaks. So you basically, in Modern Warfare 2, you disable all your kill streaks and then you play a game. And if you get 10 kills with your gun, you get something that's, I think it was Captain Price, but he looks like Super Mario. <laughs> and you would get an, you know, a certain title with it. But I used to like the emblem, I used to like the little Super Mario. And it's kind of a status thing, you know? It would be a sort of thing to say to people hey, look, you know, I can go on a 10 kill streak without any Harriers, without any Predators. I am that good. <laughs> Or、uh, that lucky, whatever way you want to look at it. But another reason why people obviously do boost and cheat and hack 
is to raise their stats. Now, I've said before, I've made no bones about it. I am a little bit of a stats whore. I do like to keep up to date with my statistics. Kill death ratio is, it's not important to me, but I like to have a good kill death ratio. You know, I don't think it really makes me sad. I just think it sort of, I don't know, maybe gives me a certain sense of well-being, knowing that I'm actually doing something right and that I can play the game, especially when you get to compare it to other people's when you're in a lobby and think, wow, well, you know, nobody's nobody's above a 1KD here. And like in Black Ops 2, I think Black Ops 2 is my best kill death ratio, which is a 3.11. And I'm quite proud of that because I'm quite a reckless player. But what I actually wanted to know is, and what I wanted to discuss is, in future Call of Duties, obviously starting with Advanced Warfare, do you guys think it would be a good idea if they took away the stats? Has stats made the community play in a certain way that makes it almost unfair to other people? You know, with people camping, fair enough. You know, if you're, if you're not that much of a confident player and you feel that you need to hold it back a little bit and let the kills come to you, if you're a little bit scared to go out into the open, then, you know, you can understand certain people camping. They might not have the confidence. But then again, some people probably do camp because they want to get the kill streaks, they want to raise their kill death ratio to the maximum, and they want to do well that way. And if that's the case, then maybe, you know, sort of stats are a little bit of a problem. You see, for me, even though I think it would be detrimental to an element of my enjoyment of the game, which is obviously keeping up to date with my stats, I almost think it actually would be a good idea to take stats out of the game. It would maybe encourage the community to be a little bit more reckless, to try something different, to not worry about using the most overpowered guns to get the best kill-death ratio. I don't know, it's just a personal preference, a personal thought. I mean, for me, I honestly believe that with games like Call of Duty Ghost, people play them so cautiously because they're just worried about damage their stats. I remember playing a game of Black Ops 1 against this one guy and he had something like, if I remember correctly, something like a 10.5 KD and it was ridiculous but what this guy would do, and I, I followed him through a few games, what he would do is he would camp it out, he would get his dogs, he would call his dogs in and once his kill streak ran out he would then quit the game. So his win loss was absolutely pathetic but his kill death ratio was 10.5 and that was the whole reason why he did what he did. He wouldn't stay any further than he needed to because he didn't want to actually die and ruin his statistics. So I don't know, just let me know in the comment section what do you think? Do you think stats should be taken out of the game or do you think they're an integral part of keeping Call of Duty the way it is? Please let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Apocalypse done.